Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to learn on the Java program. So in this Java program, we have to input is this one and output should be this one. Right. Actually, question they may ask in different ways. Some people will ask like, you know, write a program to count character occurrence in the given string. Some will ask like, you know, input, uh, they will be giving an input. They want the expected output should be this one. So first you need to understand what you are asking, right? So let us solve this problem now. Uh, actually, this is a string. So I'm just uh, creating a new variable over here. I just added a value. So the output should come in this way. This is like, you know, A count should be two and B is a three and C equal to one, right? So now a number of approaches there we can uh, solve that, but we are going to use now is, you know, uh, hash map. Right, we are going to solve this using a hash map. First, we need to create a uh, object of a hash map first. So here we have to define in hash map, we have to define a, a data type. So what are the data type we are going to add? So in if you see in that, look at in the output, it will be first, it will be character, then it is an integer. So we have to define the data type in the same way. So character, and integer, right? So we can give any variable name equal to new hash map. The same uh, data type we have to define over here as well. I'll just copy this, I'll just paste it. So the character and integer. So that's what uh, we need output, right? Fine. So now we have created an object of the hash map now. And then I'm using a for loop, right? I'm using for loop for iterate each character. Yeah, and I need to add it in a map. That's what we have to do. We have to take one by one character and need to add it in a map, right? So for that, I'm using a for loop. So I can say int i equal to zero. I less than till the, uh, the loop has to iterate till the length of this string. So I can say str dot length. Then i plus plus. Right, so get each character and store it in one variable. Right, first create a new character uh, variable over here. So character variable c character ch equal to str dot character at index of first character. We'll go into store it over here. First first character going to store it in this variable. Right, one by one character will come. I mean, it will be iterate and it is going to store it over here. Right something like this. So need to add this character into map. That's what we have to do. How we can uh, add this map before that need to check this character is already available in the map. Right. So that we have to do so we can add a one if condition. So in this if condition, I'm saying map map is this variable. This is the variable map dot if you are giving any other variable, you can give the variable. So map dot we have to add a contains key. Contains key is ch. So if the character is there, then what we have to do? I mean, the character is not in the map, then need to add it in the map. That's what we have to do. So if the condition is false, then it will be coming into the else part. I mean, condition is false means the character is not in the map. We need to add it in the map. So that's we are adding in you know, a else part over here. In this else part, we need to add map dot method for adding a character into the map. Uh, we have a method called put. So here we need to say character and we can give a value one. Why we are giving a character and uh, you know integer? Because we already defined the character and integer over here. So that's what we are adding character and integer. Now we'll be coming into that you know true part. If the condition if the map is already available, if it is a true, then what we have to do, we need to add, uh, we need to add a one, uh, we'll be create a one variable over here. I'll be create a variable equal to uh, map dot get the key. I mean, if the key is available, then we need to get the character, get the character. And we can say, we are just, we need to uh, count, 
plus plus we need to add because we are going to increase the count because we need to if suppose two a is there we need to increase the count and we need to add it over here okay so that's what we are doing here count plus plus so here in map we need to replace so in we need to replace character this character right this character equal to and count because instead of one what we need to give we need to give a count plus plus suppose if it is comes a first time it will be one right the second time it will be coming into the plus plus mean it will be coming into two right so if it is already available the count will be increased so the character you know a is a three or b is a three something how many characters are there it will going to add it over here Okay, so now we have done this thing. So once we are done, that's it. We can print the values. How we can print using a for each loop? For each loop, we can say map dot key set is there, right? So key set will be going to return one by one key over here. So how we have to say with uh, character? We can say key. Now we need to print the value one by one value. We need to print. So how we can print e plus we can say some space and we need to give map dot get. We need to pass the key. I mean the key value will go into return. So what is the key? Key is the character and the value will be this value will be the what is the count. That's what it is going to print. Right. So now. I'll be removing this ln over here because I don't want to go to the new line. Okay, I want to print in the same line only, so I'm just removing this ln as well. So now we'll run this. We'll see how this is going to work. I save this, run this. See now, what is our output? What is our expected output? Will be a two, b three, c one. So it is a expected value. It is coming correctly. So this is using a hash map. See, even you can add a one more uh, a a w four a actually. I'm just adding this. If I run this again, see it is printing a four, b three, and c two. I mean it is counting the character, right? So that's what you know. You have to count the character occurrence over here, right? So some people will be asking like you know, yeah, they will be giving a input. They will be giving output as well, so we have to write the program. Some will directly they will be asking write a program to count character occurrence in the given string. Right, this is many companies you know nowadays they are asking that. So I hope this is going to be helpful. Thank you.